When I applied for Walmart Dixon, I'd already left school and I was in employment for quite a few years. Um, I was working more groundworks wise, hard landscaping wise, and then made my application. I had a bit of a background within construction because of the job I was doing before I joined Wilmot Dixon. I was working in groundworks. Uh, I also benefited from working with my dad. He was a carpenter and he was a contracts manager later in his life. Uh, so I did a lot of work with him when I was younger, uh, a lot of building sites and the like I visited when I was growing up. I joined the trainee scheme for four years. Uh, in the fifth year, I became an assistant. Effectively, those five years ran through my university because I'd never been to university before. I hadn't done my degree in construction. So I did part-time construction degree. Four years of that was the trainee scheme and the last year I was an assistant. For me, the, the challenges weren't so much the technical initially because I, was, I benefited from having a, a grounding in that. But there's always much to learn. Um, there's a lot of other avenues that I, I, a lot of different trades I never came across uh, hands on wise. So there was a lot to learn there, but I really did benefit from the people I was working with within the, the trainee scheme and since the trainee scheme, really. Um, I had my own uh, career aspirations and goals that I want to achieve. Um, within my appraisals, uh, year ends, performance reviews, they've been spoken about and also I've, I've benefited from people who have known me from when I first started with the company and still show an interest in you all the way as you've developed throughout your different roles. Uh, I've always been in conversation with those guys. It's been very um, personable rather than just numbers and ticking boxes. People do actually care. Uh, and through that process, I be it the yearly appraisals or half yearly appraisals or just conversations with maybe mentors, if you could call people that. Uh, a career development plan was put together between the HR department and myself. Uh, I said what I wanted to achieve. They said, this is what you need to help you achieve it. And so uh, a sort of mid-term plan was put together with certain milestones over the years for attaining where I want to go. My advice for someone to develop their own career plan would be it is very much about you. You have to want to do it. You have to be motivated to do it. You need to share with the relevant people what you'd like to achieve. But once you have shared that with the company, uh, they have got things in place to allow you to achieve them. So they are there to support you and to give you training and mentoring to help you along the road. Make your aspirations known to the company and they're there to offer the help.